11 years ago, 2010 can be considered a cinema year for women, when the movies of the chick flick series continuously hit theaters from now until the end of the year. Chick flick is known as an easy-to-watch movie line, easy to bring tears and smiles from female audiences through romantic love movies or everyday humor. It can be said that women have contributed a very important part to determining the revenue of the film industry. Take a look at the low-budget, but extremely profitable movies of that period like The Proposal, Sex and the City, Mamma Mia, Twilight, New Moon, The Devil Wears Prada. The number of the audience who saw these films was all female. Also in March of that year, it is impossible not to mention the return of Robert Pattinson with a romantic movie called Remember Me. Maybe the first thing that pulls you in to watch Remember Me is the presence of vampire Robert Pattinson. However, the thing that shakes you when the movie ends is nostalgia, for a love melody suddenly breaks. Set in the summer of 2001, before September 11th, Remember Me revolves around the character Tyler played by Robert Pattinson. In the film, he is an impulsive guy, born and raised in a noble family in the Manhattan neighborhood. Since the death of his brother, life in this small family seems to be turned upside down. It is this trauma that has caused him to become increasingly distant from his ambitious father played by Pierce Brosnan. However, inside Tyler is a sensitive soul, he loves his sister and mother very much. Mahatma Gandhi once said, whatever you do will be insignificant, but it is very important that you do it. That is the life concept of the character Tyler played by Robert. Every day, Tyler goes to the familiar coffee shop, sitting alone, with a notebook beside him, passionately writing on it confiding words to his brother who died a few years ago. A boring life. The same thing can be said about Tyler. A close family man, who idolizes his brother Michael, is protective of his sister Caroline, and loves his mother, but lives without purpose. This character creates the impression of deadlock, boredom. He thinks a lot about world greats and the rules of life, but in real life nothing works out. In stark contrast to a well-groomed, polished Edward, the image of Robert Pattinson in Remember Me is extremely selfless, fighting, causing trouble, so he is sent to prison as a meal. Tyler always had a cigarette in his mouth, despite everyone's displeasure. Always quarreling, arguing with a cold father that he considers irresponsible, neglecting his children, leading to his brother's suicide. Not really a rebellion of youth, because Tyler is not harming anyone, he is just abrading his own life. Through the character of Tyler, Remember Me reflects the dark side of young people's lives that is unlucky to have to go through the pain of losing a loved one. It was the family tragedy that affected their psyche and made them fall. Meanwhile, in opposition to Tyler is ally played by actress Emily de Raven, quite familiar to the audience through the role of Claire of the Lost television series. She once impressed with the role of Tess in the hit TV series Roswell. Ally differs from Tyler in that she values life to an odd extent. Get in the habit of eating your favorite dessert first because maybe you might die while eating your main course because a meteor suddenly hits the earth. It all stemmed from the fact that she witnessed her mother being shot to death by two unknown thugs in the New York subway station. During a fight, Tyler was arrested by police officer Neil played by Chris Cooper and sent to prison. Later, his close friend Aiden instigates him to take revenge by flirting with his daughter, Ally. Tyler despises the game, but does as you say. When Ally said she didn't date social studies students, Tyler replied. Yeah, see, there's a problem though, because I, I don't date sociology majors. Lucky for you, I'm, I'm undecided. About what? Everything. That proves that in the process of pursuing Ally, Tyler is completely an honest person, not using deception tricks to flirt with the girl. His current self was not outstanding, but he still showed it to Ally, not hiding it. A chance meeting with the beautiful girl Ally changed Tyler. Ally is also a girl who has experienced the pain of losing her mother since she was a child, so there is a special sympathy between them. 
ally has given Tyler a real love, something he never thought of before. All the friends around Tyler know that this is just a romantic play that will quickly come to an end, but they do not expect that an invisible string has tied the two fates together. Love is no longer a cruel joke. Ally gets angry when she understands Tyler's motives for getting to know her, but then she forgives her. The love between Tyler and Ally is not the usual love between a prince and a princess in modern times, but simply because they have the same soul. That love gave two young people hope for a peaceful and happy life. After Tyler makes up with his father, he goes to his father's office. Charles tells him that he is dropping off Caroline at school and will be a little bit late. Tyler decides to wait for him at his office and discovers childhood photos of him, Michael and Caroline on Charles's screensaver. He is happy to see that their father is not as cold-hearted as he comes off to be. Tyler stood by the window in the twin towers of the World Trade Center in New York City, gazing at the view outside the building. Perhaps many hearts of the audience choked as soon as the image of Tyler's sister looked up at the board where the words on September 11, 2001 were written. As soon as Tyler realized the meaning of life, it was time for him to leave it. That is the harsh truth that leaves an impression and impression on the film, as well as for the role of Robert Pattinson. The image of Tyler's indispensable notebook is highly symbolic. He often confided in his dead brother through it. He took the notebook with him and placed it on his father's desk, while looking at the pictures he kept of the family on his personal computer. There was no picture of Tyler after his death, only the scorched notebook lying on the rocky ground. Perhaps the notebook is no longer needed, because from here, Tyler can confide in his brother directly. In a cruel blow of fate, we also realize that both Michael and Tyler are 22 years old when they die. This tragedy shakes his family and loved ones to the core, and we find them all trying to do better in their lives. Charles, finally, understands that just providing for his children won't suffice for his lack of attention towards them. With both his sons gone, he decides to do better by his daughter, and we find out that he and Caroline have reconnected since. Tyler's mother becomes more focused on her social work, while Aiden becomes more focused on his studies. He also has a tattoo by Tyler's name on his arm. Life is short and full of surprises. What do you do when everything turns upside down in a fraction of a second? Tyler wasn't prepared for those unexpected storms. But his soul still agonized over the love he wanted to express to his brother, who hastily passed through life. And most painfully of all is an earnest prayer for ally Craig his love, please be with her forever. With the Remember Me movie, you will still meet a wild Robert Pattinson, dusty, inspirational voice, eyes that shine the whole soul, a smile that can make women infatuated. Thanks to love and love, Tyler begins to find happiness and realizes the meaning of life. However, the end of the movie will surprise you, sometimes you have to say it's full of pity. Then at the last minute, you will realize an eternal truth that does not change, no love is eternal, only moments together are forever. Live your life for love. That is the message that the love story Remember Me sends to the audience. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. If you like videos, please like, share and subscribe to Ask K-Pop Entertainment channel. In addition, if you want us to make more videos about any movie or any characters you love, please leave a comment below. Bye-bye.